Oh, get out of it. I am getting nothing. Well, that would be the end of day three, trying to target a kingfish. Yes! The first fish of the day, which will clearly go back. The problem with snapper is every one of its fins has spines in it. And they when they get you. It's an incredible amount of pain for how small it is the thing penetrating his skin. He's off. Even on the slow days he can still get fish it would seem. Okay, snapper. Snappy snap. So what's interesting is that there are days when bait outfishes lures, but today almost nothing on that, and uh, the lures getting the attention. So I'm launching today to go for a bit of a bit of spear fishing and a bit of rod fishing. Have a wee scan around the uh, coastline. I'll we'll go into the shallows and I've got two spear guns of varying lengths. One for uber shallows, about 60 centimetres long, and the other a fair bit longer, uh, 1.1 metres. So, uh, well, let's crack into it. I might too murky today. Not into the fishing rod. Decent snapper. Yeah. Gosh. Come on. As I said, it's got spines everywhere. These, the end of these, under the pectoral fin, and then down here. Right. I hope that's a sign of things to come because he is slow going. I can't do another downer episode, that would just be the peeps would go into revolt, wailing and gnashing and teeth. If I'd drag another person through an episode with next to no fish. I've just been drifting to a, what I'll call a relatively nondescript spot. And uh, here we are, second snapper in, that was about not even a minute since the previous one. And it also said, nothing on the bait. And I started getting bites on the bait. Almost every time I theorise when fishing, the circumstances unfold in a manner almost entirely contrary to what I expect.
This has happened repeatedly. And I theorize far less than I once used to for that very reason. So many times the fish have proven me wrong. So, just gotta put a line out. This is, oh yeah, this is a uh, bigger setup than the old soft bait jig. Tying him. Oh, he's tying me. After about four hours on the water and not getting much, at a push, two legal snapper, as you saw me catch there, gave me some hope. That I can still catch fish. So I've been dodged for about two months now, with an exception of a couple of days at Matodi Bay, which was productive. However, I've been on the water four hours and I'll call it a day, but with the hope that another day will be better. There is a better day. Oh, mate. I don't, I don't know how much line I've actually taken up, but it's taking some. Yeah, bro. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna say 45. Oh, no, 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 bigger than that. <laughs> that big, bro. Mate, how can fishing be this fickle? For days now, no, weeks, nothing. And then this, and what, the first 20 minutes? Hold on. What the, mate. I, I'm, I'm shocked actually. And there we go. On the board, bro. So this and the snapper before is the day immediately after me saying is there hope. And it's not as big as the last, but it's a good snapper. Only minutes after having brought up that snapper, now onto the fourth, two of which have been undersized, but this one will be, I'm not sure where, fighting pretty hard with their size. Yeah, it's good, good 40. I've heard so many theories about why the fishing has been bad. And I'd be loath to produce a theory as to why today it is good, it is a big tide today. 0.6 to 2.6 or something around there. Anyway. All right. Let's see how far I'm off. Okay, no jokes. It's uh, 41, I was off by a centimetre. I just saw, I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> wow. Not a theory, just got my fish senses tingling. Yeah, just right here. I'll show you. There's um, just a couple of currents meeting. Nice. This 
never do like current. Snappy. Snap. No statement is going to get the backing after one bit of data. So it's time to repeat the experiment. Let's see. Back to the exact same spot. Sometimes a few meters, especially in murky water with a lure, uh, can mean all the difference because the lure is purely by sight and a bit by sound and vibration, but we'll put that off to the side. So the snapper has to see the lure and this viz might be able to see a few meters. It's, it's terrible. Good enough for some snappers to say hello. Just come up quietly, all super stealth like. It's going to be a bit lame if I don't get anything. Just, just coming on to the convergence of those currents now. Not big, but it's a snapper. And it would. Bolster the theory that they are holding in and around that area. Right. So rather than paddling back to it, Cast over, and we'll just be dropping to that similar area now. Yeah, on the bottom. Yes. Well, it's good to see plenty of snapper. It won't be legal again, but fun fishing. Having done it three times, that's enough. To... Validate theory. Anything more and just be shut off. Best data I've seen on catch and release for snapper is a um, study published by Niwa and they determined for snapper caught in under, I'd like to say it was under 20 meters or less than 20 meters, it was over 90 percent. But that was conducted in 1995 with about 150 snapper, um, and they use various methods and record all that data. But the point is, nine and ten are gonna live to swim and fight another day and hopefully become a 20 pounder that I'm yet to catch. I'm getting mega burned off. No, that's not happening. I need to go chase them. Who can outswim who? The first, obviously. Oh, one lines in. Yeah, if you be able to grab, get up my other line. Oh, he's in the weeds. He's in the weeds. Oh, that's a. Oh. Bit of snapper on this time, and I was thinking to myself, so with this lure, with this lure, you can well, it's supposed to be jigged essentially, which is just up and down, but uh, often with this, what's called a butterfly lure, butterfly jig, um, just stationary, not doing anything, but every now and again. I think more just to, for my own pleasure, just um, I, I have to fulfill my need to, to participate more actively, so I'll jig it. There we 
we go. So, we're on the board. Or on board, more like. Yeah. 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 Aboard. All right, we'll stop with that progression of puns. It was bad. I don't think anyone enjoyed that. Not even the snapper. So good to see snapper that size around. Hold! Never got one that size with a line. Ha ha! Wow. That's a very good snapper. Oh well. And I'm so close to the rocks here. Thankfully it's able to tow me away from them. That is seriously good. They fight a lot harder in the shallows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. I've got to set up the drag. Turn. How much more can it take? Oh, getting close to the rocks. It's probably in the weeds, but I can feel it. I cranked up that drag as much as I dare. There he is. A bit better this one. <laughs> yeah. I'll do the anchor, come back later. Come back later for that. Come on. We're going chasing. Come on. Break free, yes. This kayak's not a good ambi turn, I haven't set the till right. Coming up. Is it though? Is it? No, he's going down. I'm glad I just redid my my knot, Palomar knot. The bottom there. <laughs> the lifetimes and struggles. There we go. Decent snapper. Just, just getting the water moving over him. Good revive. Here we go, and off he goes. It's a win.
gone. Another victory.